In today's video, I'm going to be building three bedrooms in Bloxburg with three different budgets. So the first room being a budget of $1,000, the second room being a budget of $10,000, and the third bedroom being a budget of $100,000. And at the end of the video, we can compare the three rooms and say which one's our favorite. So let's get started. Okay, so firstly, let's work on the $1,000 bedroom. And as you can see in my budget, I literally only have $1,000, which means I cannot go over the limit or under the limit. It has to be exactly $1,000. Okay, so first let's get the actual layout of the room so it's going to be pretty small so i'm thinking literally just like four by four okay now back here i want like a little feature wall so we can do like wood grain and then maybe like hurricane gray and then the rest can be white so i'm thinking each room can be like a different theme maybe the a thousand dollar bedroom can be like a cabin vibe i'm pretty sure the cheapest bed in blocksburg is like like a wooden oak bed or something so it would make sense if i'd done like a cabin theme bedroom also i don't know if this dark stone gray looks good on this wall you know what i'm gonna risk it and do it anyway and before i forget we need to add the roof and i'm literally just gonna buy the cheapest roof okay so we got the outline of the room done and that alone costs like nearly five hundred dollars like, okay so bed is obviously gonna go up against this wall here yeah okay i was right the cheapest bed in blocksburg is a log single bed and as you can see we don't have the budget to buy a very expensive bed okay and just by placing that bed we only got like 392 dollars left oh my gosh this money is going by so fast i thought a thousand dollars would be a lot for a bedroom but apparently it is not and obviously we can't forget some good old bedside tables okay i can match the bed but that's like $70 per table so I'm literally just gonna buy like the cheapest bedside tables which are only $30 because we do be broke so just two bedside tables like that and then for the lighting because obviously we need a lamp so these are the cheapest lamps um honestly I think I'm just gonna buy them because if I buy anything dearer I will literally like run out of budget maybe we can add like a window on this back wall I feel like that would look really nice there's this sunset window which is $60 so you're, like right there I feel like that looks really pretty you know what I'm gonna risk it and we only got hundred $27 left. So you know what we need? We need a few clothes. I'm literally just gonna buy this messy clothing rack and just put it in the corner. And just by placing that, I got $47 left. It's still so dark in here though. I was gonna say I'm gonna place an overhead lighting, but I can't because I can't afford it. You know what? It's fine. It can just be a creepy, creepy bedroom. You know what? We can just decorate the nightstand. We can have like a little coffee cup here. And then we only have $17 left. So should we buy a pizza box? I feel like we should. You know what? I don't care. We're buying a pizza box and we're putting it right there. Okay, well, that's bedroom number number one done We've only two dollars left so let's move on to the next bedroom okay so as you can see in my budget i have exactly ten thousand dollars to work with so the good thing is we can make this bedroom a little bit more bigger than the first one okay maybe we can do something like this for the layout and we can put like a little fireplace here if we have the budget okay so i want the bed in this little nook here so i'm thinking maybe for this theme bedroom it can be like modern okay so these can act like two big marble pillars and then over here is going to be like the feature wall okay i'm going to use this modern texture Oh, I don't know if we should stick to planks for the floor or we can do marble. I feel like marble looks better, right? So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, before I go waste all my money, I need to actually buy a bed. So I think we have the budget for like a double bed, but I'm not going to buy like the most expensive double bed. Okay, there's the bed painted, but to make this look a little bit more fancy, maybe we can add like a painting at the top. Okay, it's $240, but you know what? We have the budget for it. So I think that's what we're going to do. And you know what? I'd say this is a pretty fancy room. So we can add these like fancy lamps. Okay, and this bed also needs pillows. So I don't know why but these pillows in Bloxburg are so difficult to do. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying, but every time I place them, they place like this and I have to change. It's so annoying. I literally have to go into the transform tool, change the measurements, and then sometimes when I do that, it still doesn't get rid of the pillow. It's so annoying. Put a bunch of pillows there and hope for the best. Okay, but I feel like that does look good though. And I feel like we need a big carpet here. Just get this big outlined carpet and put it there. Okay, you know what? To be honest, I would say $10,000 is a lot for a bedroom. Okay, that carpet looks cute and we also need like a little stool at the end of the bed and now over here i feel like we need some windows because it is very dark in here and because this is a modern bedroom we're going to be using modern windows so maybe we can add like four on each side like that i also really wanted to add a fireplace in here but i'm not sure if we're gonna have the budget so i might leave that to last oh my gosh guys you have no idea what i'm planning for the hundred thousand dollar bedroom okay you know what i feel like this antique chandelier kind of fits the vibe of the bedroom and we also need some dresses so we can add these fancy dresses but they're 750 dollars i don't know if i want to spend that much so instead i'm just going to use these industrial dresses and we can just paint them and make them look fancy okay just by adding the dresses we only got one thousand eight hundred dollars left we do need like a little desk so we can have like a little simplicity desk in this corner why did i spend all my budget on pillows you no know i'm just going to keep this desk very simple i'm just going to put a book there and like a pen cup over here is where i want my fireplace in a perfect world i would put this one but i think i'm going to cut my losses and just put this basic fireplace i mean it still looks good and it's only six hundred dollars so and back here can be 
or marble and oh my gosh she is beauty she is grace she is miss united states and these dresses are missing something so they definitely need some like paintings above here oh la la so fancy okay oh my gosh you know what we need a tv please tell me i've got the budget for a tv <laughs> i don't <laughs> no okay I, I would have the budget for a tv but it would only be this like very small miniature tv and that just looks silly above the fireplace so no tv today so we only got 347 dollars left so with that money we need a statement piece on top of the fireplace okay there's a mini reindeer it's 237 dollars though but I mean, I feel like we, we literally cannot even see it. Is it worth it? Okay, you know what? I'm not going to be silly. I'm not going to waste my money. So we're just going to put these square wall lamps next to these paintings to kind of light them up. And as you can see on the wall, there's like a very sharp edge that cuts between these two paints. So to just like break that up, I'm going to put these two pillars just like that. Apparently I only have $7 left. I wasn't even... Okay, well, I guess that is the $10,000 bedroom all done. You know what? It's not bad. I feel like I could have made it look a little bit better, especially for $10,000, but it's not bad. So I guess the last room we can work on is the final room, which is a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so I changed my budget to exactly a hundred thousand dollars, and um, let's just get straight into it. So I already know what I want to do. I want to make this a massive two-story bedroom. So I'm talking really big. So I'm kind of gonna copy that, but just make it, you know, <laughs> two stories instead of one. Okay, so the thing with the hundred thousand dollar bedroom, it's definitely gonna have room for like a big closet as well. Okay, I think this is the layout that I want for the bedroom. It looks bit weird but it's gonna look amazing okay so the closet's gonna be back here but it's actually gonna be made out of decals okay so the theme of this hundred thousand dollar bedroom is going to be like dark modern so the ten thousand dollar was like more of a luxury modern so like something like this for the theme which is perfect because that is my favorite theme to work with dark modern i literally love it i use it everywhere like if my room in my future house isn't dark modern i don't want it okay now these like big pillars on the side are gonna be actually made out of decals so i'm just gonna pull like full wall paintings like this. You guys imagine if I ran out of a budget, I only have like $5 left. I'm like, oh, where did all that money go? Okay, and I think the rest of the room can be made out of like concrete. Oh la la, so fancy. Okay, now for the floors, I'm thinking like oak logs, but I don't know if that's gonna look good because I've not really used black. Excuse, why did the floor just place like that? Excuse me. So I'm thinking like dark stone gray for the floor. Cause I mean like, look how sick that looks. And it definitely is like a dark modern theme. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. And to make this like extra fancy, we can double the floors and make them look more detailed. Okay, there we go. I think that's good. And now for the bed. So, you know what? I'm just going to buy the most expensive bed. Actually, no, not only am I going to buy the most expensive bed, I'm also going to make it elevated. So, we get a basic cube, put it in the middle, resize it. So, it's like, rah, boom. Ah, uh, yes, Alaska. That's that's very good explaining. Rah, boom. And then, of course, we need a little stairway. Okay, there we go. Elevated bed. So, then we can paint this same color as, the, as this back wall, which is dark slate. Okay, I think that's the material I'm going to go for with the bed. I just like how it blends into the rest of the wall. And now we can use our arch nemesis, aka pillows. I hate placing pillows. It's so, it's why, why? Okay, I think that's it for the pillows. I don't want to add too many. I mean, I can, I have the budget for it, but I feel like less is better. I love how I say less is better. I literally added like five pillows. Now over here, I could add lamps, but I think I'm going to be like super fancy and add pendants that like extend all the way to the roof. Okay, hopefully this will work. I'm adding pendants up the top and then like extending them at the bottom it'll either look good or bad okay you know what i'd say that looks kind of cool to make this bed like that extra bit fancy we can add neon horizontal lights around this border we'll also add them on the sides here as well we might even make these red i feel like red would look just sick <gasps> oh my gosh wait i just thought of something maybe i can have my initials above my bed okay ready av for alaska violet <gasps> wait i don't know if i should change it to white okay i don't know if i'm adding too many or too less but i think the bed's looking pretty cool and you know what usually i wouldn't ever buy these succulents because they're so expensive but I mean we have a massive budget so okay the good thing about having a high budget is that I literally can just like scroll down and buy the most expensive thing now we can work on the rest of the bedroom okay so for the roof I feel like we definitely need a sky roof you know see something like that and then I can like drag it up I don't know if this is gonna look stupid or not but we can just try okay ready moment of truth oh <gasps> that looks sick okay I'm really glad that I done that okay now for the windows okay maybe if we make this 
entire wall one big window but as you can see it's very light in here so I'm gonna put like a massive tree on the outside okay there we go that looks a little bit better okay so in the middle here is where I want like a little sitting area and then for the chairs we can go super fancy and add these sleek sofas I don't usually use these sofas because they're so expensive but um we have like $68,000 left so we're fine and we can do like black and gold for the theme and then maybe for the coffee table we can make our own so I saw this like luxury coffee table in a furniture shop so I think I'm gonna recreate it it was just like two coffee tables kind of merged together like that I feel like a lot of luxury houses just have like random vases around the house okay this little section is good I don't want to overdo it and then back here is where I want the fireplace actually someone told me if I put this fireplace apparently I can like resize it and then like bring it all the way up to the top I did not know that I feel like it's too small so I'm gonna add two of them and I'm also gonna add a TV up here but instead of any regular TV I'm actually gonna do like a custom one and what I mean by this is by adding a plain huge painting and putting it up here and I mean huge I'm talking cinema sized TV and then to make the TV stand out we can put neon lights around it and I feel like on this wall we can have like a few fancy paintings okay so far we've spent like half our budget because we've only got $55,000 left and I think over here I might have like a little desk all the desks are ugly so <laughs> I'm gonna make my own okay all you need is two cubes like this and then you need a semi-transparent cube in the middle and then if you have the transform tool you can lift it up like this and I mean there we go we have a cute little luxury desk over here I don't even want to put anything on here this looks too fancy you know what we'll just keep it simple and put like a little computer in the middle oh my gosh this is genuinely like one of the most fanciest desks I've ever built in Boxburg okay I think that's good for the desk I'm not sure if I want to add curtains or well, we can do something like that I don't know if I prefer it with no curtains or with curtains okay maybe it's just the gaps in the middle that's bothering me maybe if I just paint this black okay I think that was it I think I fixed it maybe instead of the whole thing we could just have curtains on the side like this and we still have $47,000 left and over here is going to be the closet so I think I'm going to do like a long wall like this oh my gosh guys I just thought of like the most genius idea we're going to make the closet a secret room so we're going to add this secret door like this and then next to this we're just going to add normal bookshelves okay so I think that is the bedroom done so now we can go into the closet and then to make the closet stand out we can put more neon horizontal lights <laughs> around it oh my gosh stop why is this like the most fanciest thing i've built in blocksburg <laughs> added like eight closets and i still got twenty five thousand. so over here is where my vanity table is gonna go instead i'm just gonna place one basic cube like this and kind of make it like a floating vanity table it's gonna look pretty cool Okay, I added these designer bags, but I still have $9,000 left and the closet's done. You know what, I might even add a fountain like to this wall. Okay, it works, but we only have room for five and it just looks silly because it's uneven. Wait, unless I put like two each. Okay, and somehow, I don't know how, but we still have $1,600. So I'm just gonna scroll all the way down and just buy something random. I put the plant down and I went to paint the flowers because they don't go with the theme. And then I realized I have $0 left. Okay, the three bedrooms are finally done, so let's go have a look at them. Okay, so the first room we have here is the $1,000 bedroom. Oh my gosh, looking at this now, after I just finished the $100,000 bedroom, is insane. Also, looking back at it now, why, why is there just a random pizza box on the bed? Okay, now for the second bedroom, we had a budget of $10,000. And the theme I chose for the $10,000 bedroom was kind of like luxury modern. But for $10,000, I think I could have done a better job. I feel like I could have utilized the space a little bit more, but I, I think it's kind of cute. So moving on to the last bedroom. And last but not least, we have the $100,000 bedroom. Oh my gosh, looking at this now, this is genuinely like my dream bedroom. I think this turned out like better than I expected. Oh my gosh, everything about this room is just so luxurious. Now the fireplace is super cool because I added like a TV, but not like a regular TV, like it's made out of a decal and it looks amazing. And I think the red LED lights around it kind of enhances the photo. So the theme I chose for this bedroom is kind of like a dark modern, which is my go-to aesthetic, my favorite aesthetic ever. And then here's kind of like the study desk. And I didn't know what to add here, so I just added waterfalls. And this is genuinely like my favorite bit of the entire room, which is this bit here. We have this elevated bed and then we have my initials, Alaska Violet. Like everything in this room just screams like 
luxury and it gets better so over here what looks like a normal bookshelf but if we go up to this middle bookshelf right here we can actually open it and it leads into the walk-in wardrobe look at this so we just have like two designer bags here and then just like a bunch of storage over here but yeah i think we can all agree that the hundred thousand dollar bedroom is the best bedroom so that was me building three Blocksburg bedrooms with one thousand ten thousand and a hundred thousand dollars if you guys want to see me do another room challenge like this let me know and make sure you subscribe and turn on that bell notification to be notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you in the next one bye